here goes Egan Bernal. An attack of Bernal now. Roglic tracks him. Roglic takes the first red jersey. Brian Tarame wins the stage. Two wins in the Welter for Jasper Philipson. Oh, big crash of Valverde. Jakobsen takes his second stage win. Michael Storer, two wins in La Vuelta. His Magnus Court wins another stage of La Vuelta. It's a victory for De Coyne and Quickstep. The win was Florian Seneschal. At the top of Pico Vallecas, the race winner is Roman Bardet. Rafael Maika, he wins in El Baraco. Jakobsen going, he wins on his birthday. Primoz Roglic has been majestic on the roads today. On to stage 18 of La Vuelta 21, and it's an absolute beast. One of the toughest days in pro cycling this year. Four and a half thousand metres of climbing with an unprecedented summit finish on the brutal Alto de El Gamonetero. Primoz Roglic has a comfortable lead after his superb win yesterday, so he and Jumbo Visma may let the breakaway contest the stage victory. Well, stages in Asturias are very mountainous, so they're ideal for me. But you never know if the break will be able to go all the way. Yesterday I thought we had options, but you saw what happened. There was some spectacular racing, and we couldn't do much more in the end. We will certainly try again today, and as I say, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, yesterday I was in the breakaway. Uh, but uh, yeah, the GC teams pulling a lot and uh, yeah, the breakaway don't go to, to the finish. But uh, yeah, today I try again. But a lot of new emotion, experience for me. I never tried in my career to be in the breakaway and uh, in this world uh, I tried. And, uh, that's good. I think if we're, if we're in a position to, to be defending the, um, the polka dot jersey, then I think we're going to be in a position to try and win another stage as well because, yeah, we'd love to get either, uh, you know, we have both cards to play with, Roman and, and Michael, so, yeah, to get either or both in the breakers would be, uh, would be a good result today. Well, it didn't take long for a big breakaway to form with 32 riders going up the road. Bahrain victorious were the only team to miss out on the move, so they were quickly on the front of the peloton trying to close the gap. Everybody else had at least one man in the breakaway, and among them were three stage winners at this Vuelta, Michael Storer, Rafael Maika and Rain Tarame. The 2015 winner Fabio Aru was also in there, along with Gorka Izagire, Damian Hausen, Harm van Hauke, Gianluca Brambilla and Mauri van Sevenens. However, Bahrain victorious weren't just going to let them disappear up the road. At the summit of the first climb, the Puerto de San Lorenzo, the gap was a shade under five minutes. It remained steady as they swept along the valley towards the second Category 1 test, the Alto de la Cobertoria. Eight kilometres at 8.6%, potentially the ideal spot for an attack. And that certainly seemed to be the thinking over at Team DSM. Tom and Aronsman upping the tempo with Michael Storer on his wheel as the Australian decided to unleash from distance. Michael Storer wanting to make a move towards the top of this King of the Mountain. Well, Storer quickly opening up a gap on the other escapees with the peloton still around five minutes back. He also picked up another 10 points at the summit, becoming the virtual King of the Mountains ahead of his DSM teammate, Roman Bardet. Storer continuing to plug away before the category two climb of the Alto La Sega o del Cordal, they were starting to eat away at his advantage back in the peloton. UAE Team Emirates and Movistar helping Bahrain victorious at the front of the pack now. And several teams even told their riders in the breakaway to drop back and help with the chasing. Rafael Maika for UAE and Imanol Aviti for Movistar. The pace was really increasing now. Stora's lead down to two and a half minutes as he attacked the penultimate climb. Aru, Brambilla and Aronsman look to counter from the breakaway and get across to Stora. Could the Aussie hold on for his third win of this welter? 
Well, the chasing group didn't get far. Further back, Bardet and Mikel Biscara tried their look from the peloton. Five more points for Stora at the summit and second place for Bardet. Did DSM have more tricks at their sleeve here? Well, having attacked 70k from the finish, Stora hit the base of Gumonitero with a two-minute lead. But apparently there was no plan to set something up for Bardet, with the Frenchman sitting up. His compatriot Geoffrey Bouchard also had a go, but his attack wasn't as effective as that of David de la Cruz. And this is the first move of David de la Cruz, which was set up earlier by Rafael Maika. De la Cruz, 13th overall, 8 minutes and 34 seconds down, making his bid to try and put himself in the top 10. Well, de la Cruz soon caught Stora as more attacks began to fly. Here goes Egan Bernal, an attack of Bernal now. Roglic tracks him, he knows which rider to follow. Egan Bernal shaking things up in the GC group with Roglic straight on his wheel. Sepp Kuss, Enric Mas and Miguel Angel Lopez soon fought their way back before Superman took off. Here goes Miguel Angel Lopez. Now the Movistar rider jumps away and decides to go for glory. Lopez soaring away to a prestigious stage victory and all but securing himself a place on the overall podium. Roglic happy to control his other rivals on the final hike to the finish line. Superman Lopez closes in on the top of this brutal mountain for the very first time. Out of the mist, out of the murk, a Superman arrives. Lopez wins the stage. Lopez loves these tough climbs. After his brilliant victory on the Col de la Lose at last year's Tour de France, he becomes the Vuelta's first winner on Gamoniteru. It's his third win at the race after a double with Astana in 2017. Movistar finally have their first Grand Tour win of the season, and it's a first Colombian victory at this Vuelta after they failed to taste stage success at the Tour. It's been four years since my last win at the Vuelta and getting it on the Queen stage makes me just so happy. I did it with a lot of courage and desire and with love for my wife and son. Lopez taking the Queen stage by 14 seconds from Roglic, who was closely followed by Mass and Bernal. Haig, De La Cruz, Marder and Menkes coming in nearly a minute down. Roglic increases his lead to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. There are now 23 seconds separating the Movistar teammates Mas and Lopez and just 7 seconds between Haig and Bernal. With help from his De Koenig quick step teammates, Fabio Jakobsen managed to beat the time cut. He stays in green 88 points ahead of Roglic. Stora takes over from Bardet as the king of the mountains with Roglic up to third. DSM are on course to take the polka dot jersey but there are a maximum of 41 points still up for grabs. Bernal lost time to Lopez at Roglic and Mass today, but he remains the best young rider and he now leads Marder by over three minutes. Well, after two big mountain stages, tomorrow's outing looks ideal for a breakaway. There are three climbs early in the day before things ease off in the second half of the stage. Do join us again on Friday and thanks very much for watching.